Hey guys, Worship Guy 2005 here. I'm just going to be bringing you guys all a quick merch update as in designs. And these are all designs on my phone. In fact, you can find them all in the Discord server in the merch design items section. So the first one here is the current channel logo, although I would also make a simplified version of this. Basically, it's the channel name, which is Worship Guy 2005. However, on the channel banner, it's actually Worship Guy 2005 Productions with, and this is from up to right, the uh, Manitoban flag, the Canadian flag, and the World War II Canadian naval ensign, and of course in the back, St. Lucia's Haida. The next design is right here. Now, some of these are just, uh, I forget what they're called, uh, the title cards for videos. But they're kind of, I do a similar thing with them, so it'll help give you guys a better idea. So this one I've actually shown on an actual mug, uh, same with the previous one. And it's HMCS Haida, beloved Canadian vessel. I may change, I will change the wording uh, for other ones. But again, this is just a rough idea. It'll be roughly the same size. Um, and in the bottom right, it says Warship Guy 2005 Productions. I don't know if I should be adding that and on all the di designs, if any of them, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below. And as you can see here, this is Haida in the background with, of course, the Canadian flag. Next design, door number two. Now, this is the very first one of the title cards. Where you get this, you'd get the idea. And this is, of course, my top 15 favorite warships. I'd probably take the wording out and just leave it with the designs. I'll go from top left to the bottom right. HMCS Haida, the first HMCS Athabaskan, the, sorry, the, yeah, the first HMCS Athabaskan, the second HMCS Athabaskan, then the third HMCS Athabaskan. I'm, I'm going to make a mug specifically with three of them. The next one is, of course, another title card, but I would keep it the same. It is MS River Rouge, Manitoba's Resting Flame. With, of course, the River Rouge in the background. I'm just going to stop talking about it now, or I might reveal ideas I have. Then, of course, we've got my top, my top 10 favorite American preserved warships. I said that wrong. But again, this would be completely different. I'd actually have other wording, and it would it would be more in line with the ship itself. Um, so that one's, I guess, not really too good now to think about it. Again, this one, Long of the American Battleships. Uh, that one I can interchange with all the battleships, and I'd be changing the coloring of the lettering to make it look the best. So the coloring's still in the working out phase, and it does depend on the ship in the background. If you guys want custom merch done, you know, if you want one offs or something, uh, contact me. My contact email is in my channel description. It's all, it's, but it's just my channel name at gmail.com. Then, of course, this one I'm going to be making a much better version of. Like, I mean, I'm going to go really good with this one. It's MS Paddle Princess, Manitoba's Beloved Princess, 1966 to 2003. Rest in peace. Of course, everybody knows my favorite ship is Haida. She's not my only. I have two favorite ships. The other one is my paddle wheel, prin the paddle wheel princess. I love her. I'm so sad she was scrapped. I, I was I was literally only a few months out. If I had gone a few months earlier, like I originally planned to, I would have seen her before they cut her up. And I'm so sad that I missed it. Next one is the River Rouge. This was actually her getting tied up in her first year of service. And it's a quote that I made. Saying maybe one day the riverboats can make a return, but only if we, the people, try. And that is indeed very true of what I said there. Now here is Marine Museum in Manitoba, uh, the Riverboat Haven. This one I'd be doing several different designs of, most likely. But again, I want you guys to be honest, leave your comments down below. And if you want to see these on Discord, Discord is in the channel description. I will link it if I remember to, but it is in the channel description. Now, the wreck of the Asus Alpha, I'd actually remove this little screen, the little guy in the middle there, the actual Alpha. I'd also put the actual picture of the Alpha up. 
Um, but you get the idea. Like this would be one of those ones that would be more in, released in line with a video and would be a limited run kind of thing. I just haven't made a video since that like it, so it's not up. This one here is Demise of the Manitoban Lake and Riverboats. That uh, should be pretty self-explanatory. Um, and that's, of course, the Lord Selkirk 2, just before they cut her up in the background. I'm still so sad. She was caught up in 2015. The first time in Selkirk was just after she was, she was cut up, and I, I would have seen her. I, I not kid you not, I missed her by like a month. And I'm so sad that I missed her. I would have loved to have seen her in person. Okay, yeah, that's it here. I'm just going to quickly pause my screen recorder. Someone texted me. Um, spam unblocked. Okay. Go back to recording. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below of all these. In fact, while I'm here, I might as well just quickly show off the Discord. So, uh, there's a voice chat. I don't actually use it. There's a section for video updates, video ideas, which everyone can post in. There is Glegate 16, aka my dad. This is general chat. I, I don't know who the 170550 is, but we, we've had a lot of things here going off and on. And he asked what this ship looks like, and I think it kind of looks like the bridge of a Camel Ta Cam uh, Campbelltown class destroyer, or sorry, town class. Uh, we did actually have several in the Canadian Navy, which I learned. Combined with a hydrofoil, with kind of like the back tail, they're almost of a fighter. Uh, and it's obviously based off a destroyer hull, because it's a it's a two zero symbol, not a Canadian destroyer. So. But you guys can kind of see here is, it has been a little more active since he joined, which is very nice that I, I actually have activity on it now. But don't forget to join it. We only have four people. Uh, tech hasn't been online in a very long time here, I don't think. And really, there's only the two of us active on it. You can also suggest what ships you want to see next. I should, I, I should switch that to what video do you guys want to see next, uh, or something like that. I really should switch it. But yeah, if you want to join the Discord, link is in the channel description. If you have, if you want custom uh, designs, either send me the design. Or give me the parameters, uh, which of course the param it will it would be a little more expensive than normal. It really depends. If you give me the design, it won't be anything extra, just because it's really easy to do a one off for me. Uh, you still have to pay shipping and everything, obviously. But I don't know how much the mugs would be. I have to check how much they are. I think at I think we get them for like I want to say ten at ma at max it'd be ten all in plus shipping for for my cost i i don't 100 percent actually have to check they actually might be four or five or they could be ten i honestly don't remember there's two and they're very similar and i don't remember which is which uh I'll, I'll i'll have to check and i'll get back to you guys on that but if, yeah if you guys want any custom one-offs and it, it doesn't have to be just mugs it could be hat shirts keychain that kind of things uh just contact email is in my channel description which is worshipguy2005 at gmail.com I don't suspect anybody will but you know you can also join the discord and put the design there as well if you wish or design ideas I will be putting a section in for that as well I did not expect this video to hit 9 minutes long and this is going to be an off day video too but yeah this is uh, worshipguy2005 giving you all another quick merch update and I will see you all in the next one have a good rest of your day everybody Worship Kite 2005, signing off.